Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome to day one of the Sit and Go Trainer, uh, Sit and Go Poker course, um, where you go from fish to Sit and Go Shark in only 17 days. Today we're going to be talking about uh, poker bankroll, uh, which is a very important topic. Uh, before we get started, I just uh, just a couple things I want to uh, want to discuss. And uh, the first is if you head on over, once you're done watching this video, if you head on over to my uh, another one of my sites, virtualpokercoaching.com, what I'm doing is I'm giving away a free report. It's called Poker Secrets, Five Mistakes to Avoid Even Before You Sit Down at the Table. Uh, now, I do cover some of these things in this course, but not everything. So you're going to want to pick up a copy of that. It's absolutely free. But more importantly, what happens is... Um, by signing up for that, you'll get on my my regular newsletter where I'm constantly every you know every few weeks or so I'm putting together either a new article, new video, a new new sort of training for um for ongoing poker stuff like that. So uh, if you want to head on over there, let me just show you what um what well there, there there's my site there when you when you head on over there virtualpokercoaching.com. dot uh, com. You grab your free report, you stick your email in there. Uh, you see it here and you, you'll get instant access. It's absolutely free. Obviously, there's no obligation. But what I wanted to tell you about here is if you scroll down on the left-hand side, um, there's a little button here that says, how can I help? And this is what I'd, what I'd like you guys to do. It's going to take you two minutes uh, and it sort of helps me decide on what kind of education, ongoing education everyone needs. So... Basically, how can I help you become a better poker player? What's your mo uh, most burning question about succeeding with online poker? Uh, so if you, you scroll down here, it's a quick little survey. You click on this button and it pulls up this quick little survey. It's like got 10 question in it, uh, questions in it. It's done anonymously, so I don't even know who it's coming from. But what it allows me to do is gather information on what areas a lot of people need help with, and then that way, uh, you know, for my upcoming blog posts or articles or, or videos that I need to put out uh, to help you guys along, I know what areas to concentrate on where most people are struggling uh, with their sit-and-go or multi-table table play. So uh, once this video is done, go head on over there. Like I said, it's going to take you like two minutes. It's ten questions. They're multiple choice. The bottom two just ask for areas that you're looking for and it sort of gears towards um, – I gear my education towards that to help you guys out on my on my regular monthly um, or, or weekly monthly newsletter so on. So, okay, enough about that. Let's head back to what we're talking about today. And uh, we're talking about poker bankroll. And there's a reason why I start this out on day one, and this is what I do teach my students – um, all the time. Bankroll is one of the most important things and that's why I started out even before we talk about playing the cards and the game and so on. So uh, basically what is a poker bankroll for anyone that's new uh, to the game? Basically your, your, your poker bankroll is the amount of money that you have set aside uh, just for playing poker. So if you have $200 set aside, $500, $1,000, whatever it is, it should be an amount that is set aside that you only use for poker um, and you don't start taking it out. If you have a big winning session, it's not like you take that money out and then go spend it on on, on something else uh, out there. You need to keep it, your poker bankroll, uh, fixed and that money's only for poker. It's not used for anything else. And uh, where I want to caution you is make sure this is money that, first of all, you can afford to lose and um, that it's money that, you know, you're not using it for, you're taking away money from your rent or your groceries or or clothing, stuff like that, you know, the necessities uh, that you actually need, it should not be used for that. It should be completely separate, something that you're comfortable with uh, losing if that does happen. But I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to eliminate virtually you ever having to go broke again uh, if done properly with your bankroll. So as long as you know what the bankroll is, um, basically why is me... Uh, uh, is your bankroll management so important? Uh, we hear people talk about it a lot, but I find this is probably one of the main reasons why 90% or a very high percentage of uh, new poker players fail is because they do not know how to manage their bankroll. That's pro uh, and that and that is a big problem. And bottom line is, why is it so important? Well, if you have no money left, if you lose all your money, then basically you can't play. You're out of the game. So you definitely your number one priority is to pr pr conserve that bankroll and and let it work for you um, and make sure because if like the, like I said, if the money is gone, then you're uh, <laughs> then then you're you're either back to depositing or you just can't play anymore stuff like that so some of the guidelines that i use uh personally is um 
I use only, and, and then this is basically for, for sit and goes, uh, I don't use more than 2% of my bankroll per sit and go. So at any given sit and go, I do not have more than 2% uh, of your bankroll in play. So if you have a bankroll of $100 for poker, then you should be playing the $2 sit and go levels there. And what it does is, I know, I know it sounds a little bit extreme, um, but by following this, you're never, I mean, poker is an up and down You'll find it's an up and down roller coaster. You're going to go through some hot winning streaks. You're going to go through some losing streaks. Uh, but if you have enough in your in in your in your total bankroll, uh, then then you can handle those losing streaks, and you're not going to sort of it's not going to make you broke because you 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 lost ten sit and goes in a row, and now you have no more money to continue on. So it's going to be up and down. But if done properly, and at the end of this course, if you follow the sort of steps, you should be showing profit in the long run. It's a long uh, poker is an ongoing ongoing thing and you should see it um, winning in the long run so basically bankroll of, of 100 you should be playing two dollar levels bankroll of 500 dollars you can play the ten dollar levels and a bankroll of a thousand you can play the fifty dollar levers i think you get the uh, get the idea there just divide your bankroll by 50 and then that can tell you what levels that you should be working at so if you stick with this um Stick with this plan. So let's say you start at a thousand dollars, and you're playing the fifty dollar ones, but you're actually losing, and you get down to, uh, I don't know, let's say, let's say you get down to, you go down to five hundred dollars. Well, then you're going to switch over, and you're going to start playing the ten dollar level. So basically, you always want to be playing two uh, percent of your bankroll, so that way you you re- uh, virtually will never go broke if you follow these guidelines there. So that's all I want to talk about today. Homework for today: make sure you decide on a on a uh, uh, the size of your bankroll that you're comfortable with. Like I mentioned, not for money that you're going to use need for food or rent or clothing. Put that aside, and it's only to be used for poker. Uh, so from that, you can basically figure out what sit and go levels you're going to be able to play. And then the other thing is, if you can, go ahead and grab yourself a free copy over at, uh, at my site, www.virtualpokercoaching.com. You'll see the link below this video also. You just click on that. It'll take you over to my site. And grab the free report as well as take the two minutes to fill out that quick survey um, on where you where you need help and you need most help with. And... Uh, and uh, that would, you know, help yourself out because it will give me good ideas of what people need uh, need help with, and I'll and I'll work on that in, in upcoming education. So that's it for today. Let's look at tomorrow's lesson. We're going to be talking to, about rakeback and how to get your poker sites to actually pay you for playing at their sites. That's it for to for today, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.